There are super interesting questions that are raised just by the sort of possibilities that cosmologists come up with. Things like the multiverse, for example. You know, if there, if there, are, if there is just an infinite multitude of, of different universes spread out across different dimensions, then again, it just it, it makes the whole way we think about, it, or forces us to reconsider the way we think about, you know, the value of a state of affairs. You know, do you think that the, you do something and it brings about some value? And then you think, well, but if I live in a multiverse, then there's infinite value and there's infinite disvalue. In fact, the overall value of the state of affairs is undefined because if you add infinite positive to infinite negative, you get an undefined sum. Um, so what does, it, what does anything matter? You know, it's all pointless. Um, I can't make any difference at all to the universe. And again, that forces you to think, well, okay, so obviously what we care about isn't just the overall value of states of affairs. So I think that on the one hand, there's the acquisition of knowledge, which is, which is obviously important. And there's the sort of the preservation of curiosity but also just the kind of the creativity that we get from thinking about these possibilities, the different, uh, yeah, the different possible alternatives that are, that are raised by um, some of this advanced work, some of it advanced work in physics, um, enables us again just to sort of push and pull and tweak at the things that we think about the world that we actually live in. So as long as, um, as, long as that sort of creative thinking is happening, um, even if we don't find out, sort of, you know, even if we never get to space exploration, real space exploration in our lifetimes, like something that um, seems sort of consequentially different from what we've already done so far, um, just the ability to think it through has tremendous benefits for us.